golf to go is brought to you by the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Here's Frank LaRosa. For years, we walked into a golf shop, uh, saw a driver. Maybe it was color. Maybe it was the shaft. Maybe, we just pulled it off the uh, shelf and, and swung with it. If it felt good, that's the driver we used. We don't do that anymore, do we? We don't do that so much anymore, Frank. We at Hagen Oaks have a launch monitor here called TrackMan, and it's one of the most technologically advanced machines in the world. The PGA Tours, the LPGA, all the tours use this machine to get fit on. And it's for beginners, amateur players, and advanced golf professionals. I think that's important for people to know because we all think, well, that's just for a better player than me, but this, this will help uh, beginners. Yeah, I know the advanced players know how important it is to use. The beginners and the amateurs can make the biggest differences by mm -hmm. utilizing our TrackMan. And what this machine does right here is it, when I'm fitting a driver, it gives me several launch conditions. Three of the most important being the ball speed, the vertical launch angle, that's the, that's the ball leaving the ground, and the launch spin. And those three conditions right there are really gonna determine, especially with your driver, how far that ball is gonna carry in the air. And you can see the person that was hitting this last drive, I don't think it was you, Frank, but this <laughs> person God. didn't have a whole lot of ball speed. So their ball only launched at seven and a half degrees of launch. That's not high enough to stay in the air long enough. It only carried 170 yards. And my guess is this person probably has a five iron or a four hybrid that would carry as far as their driver is in the air. This person's driver is not maximized here. So what we want is we want high launch and low spin. Almost everybody wants that in their launch conditions. What those two things are gonna give us are the furthest carry in the air with the flattest landing angle. And that's what we all want with our drives. We wanna bomb them out there and we want them to run like crazy when they hit the ground. So how many drives does a person have to hit for you to get enough information? You know, I only need four or five really, really? good shots. Wow. Yeah, and sometimes it might take, you know, the amateur or the beginner a little bit longer to get. But the great thing is, is that not only does this show me what the ball's doing, it's showing me what the club is doing too. Like I can look at this last swing and see that the path that this person took was really a great path. They hit down on it just about two degrees, which is okay. That's mm -hmm. within the, the parameters. But their loft at impact was only 12 degrees. So for someone that has that slow of ball speed, we need to have more loft than that at impact so that we're gonna get maximum carry and the flattest landing angle of roll when that thing hits the ground. So you're looking not only at distance, but trying to uh, maximize accuracy as well. Oh, of course. What this launch monitor is helping us do is we're helping to dial in the best shaft and combination of head and loft that's gonna give them repeatability, accuracy. The misses are gonna be more similar. They're not gonna be all over the golf course. And yes, distance, of course, is what's, what everyone's really interested in. You know, in. I think you really hit on something there about the misses, because for the most part, we all have some good shots, but it's the misses we wanna maximize. We wanna make those Absolutely. misses better. Absolutely. I agree tremendously. Make your misses better at the Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio.